water is a symbol for emotions and it reflects purity and freshness. And art is like flowing water that purifies our soul and freshen our sentiments. Isfahan is one of the academic, agricultural, industrial, and more importantly, the cultural centers of Iran. Isfahan is well known for the abundance of its cultural heritage and its fascinating beauties. It has rightly come to be called the Gem of the East and also is symbolically known as Half the World, a city with three UNESCO World Heritage Sites and many other amazing historical places. Bazaars are crucial in giving a sense of integrity to the concept of a traditional Iranian city. Along with its rich cultural assets, Isfahan has been working on safeguarding its intangible cultural heritage and on the cultural recreation. These days, Isfahan is hosting a great festival with hundreds of people attending it from all around the world. I'm from Valencia, Spain. We, we are, are from Italy. Italy. I'm from India. We are from Holland. We, we are, are from, from Russia. Russia. I'm from Korea. Cultural heritage does not end at monuments and collections of objects. It also includes traditions that are inherited from our ancestors and passed on to our descendants, such as oral traditions, performing arts, social practices, rituals, festive events, and skills to produce crafts. Intangible cultural heritage includes songs, music, drama, skills, and other parts of culture that can be recorded, but cannot be touched and interacted with without a vehicle for the culture. These cultural vehicles are called human treasures by the United Nations. The city of Isfahan is hosting the second International Intangible Cultural Heritage Festival with numerous activities in different parts of town. There are demonstrations of ancient sports, performing arts, and exhibitions of handicrafts from every region of Iran. The festival allowed foreign visitors and locals to see some of Iran's rich intangible cultural heritage. Isfahan is hosting the second ICCN festival, where 39 countries are sharing intangible cultural similarities and differences. The ultimate goal is to make cultural peace based on mutual understanding formed through intercultural dialogue. The festival and general assembly kicks off here at the prominent Abbasi Hotel, with presence of scholars, NGOs, local authorities, and government officials. Qadir is a magnificent garden in the beautiful city of Isfahan. Many different Iranian ethnic groups are here showcasing their folkloric dance, music, and games. The event continued with the ICCN General Assembly meeting, where scholars from across the world discussed the role of intangible cultural heritage in cultural tourism, urban diplomacy, community development, environment, and human identity. از جمله دستاوردهایی که ما برای اجلاس و جشنواره بین المللی میلاس فرهنگ ناملموس در اصفهان پیش بینی کرده بودیم در راستای شبکه همکاری های بین شهری یعنی ICCN یکی تثبیت قالبیت جمهوری اسلامی ایران بود در سطح منطقه و بین الملل در حوزه فرهنگ که خب به نظر میرسه 
با معرفی و ارائه خیلی خیلی خوبی که در این ایام در اصفهان در راستای میراث فرهنگ ناملموس شد این هم تحقق پیدا کرده The rest is not as serious as the General Assembly. The colorful events will continue with a wide variety of musical and traditional performances and cultural exhibitions, which will be held at several cultural centers in the city of Isfahan. Shahri Razimi for Iran. In the last week's episode, we showed you a glimpse of this magnificent city, but it has a lot more to offer, and that's why Isfahan is half the world. Because of the intangible cultural heritage festival, Isfahan is hosting several events, some of which are very significant. We take you there, and you'll find out why. There is evidence that an ancient game called chogan or polo was first played in Persia. By King Darius the Great, around 500 BC, in an interesting letter sent to Alexander of Macedonia from the Iranian King Darius III, Darius sent a polo mallet and a ball to Alexander, along with a message telling him that instead of advocating war, he should play polo. Naqshe Jahan Square used to be a polo field, which was built by Shah Abbas the First in 17th century. After many years, a symbolic game is happening in this square to remind everyone that the birthplace of Polo is the land of Persia. Later on, this game was passed from Persia to the rest of Asia and then Europe and became a popular sport among the people all around the world. Chogan or Polo, which is an important piece of our intangible cultural heritage, is being showcased today in Isfahan's Naqsh Jahan Square. Today, many polo tournaments are held throughout Iran. And Isfahan, with some key players and teams, has a leading role in reviving this ancient sport. Isfahan has a great collection of Iran's cultural elements, and that's why the festival organizers decided to take their guests for a tour of half of the world. Although these people are here for the Invisible Cultural Heritage Festival, but they cannot skip this magnificent piece of architecture, the Grand Central Mosque of Isfahan. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is also one of the oldest mosques still standing in Iran. A condensed history of the Iranian architecture, which was originally built in the 8th century, and since then it has gone through remodeling many times. There are many other architectural pieces in this city that represent the cultural diversity of the gem of the East. For many centuries, Vaughan Cathedral has been the symbol of coexistence of two different cultures in the city of Isfahan. Among the churches built in Isfahan, the magnificent and architecturally significant Vonk Cathedral is the most famous. It was one of the first churches to be established in Isfahan by Armenian immigrants, settled by Shah Abbas I after the Ottoman War of 1603. The interior of the church is elaborately decorated with wall paintings and tile work. Apart from the paintings, which are imitations of Italian styles, the architecture and all the decorations are totally Iranian. The cultural diversity aspect of Isfahan has made this city a perfect candidate to host events that are organized by other countries attending the Intangible Cultural Heritage Festival. They also showcase their pieces of intangible culture to the rest of the world.
events such as the Korean night held in Abosi Hotel, with some great music and delicious cuisine. Well, after some delicious food, we take you to a different venue to hear something completely different. There is a dialogue happening here tonight between two cultures, Iran and Russia. Let's hear some quality music from St. Petersburg. در نظر بود که با مخابره پیام صلح دوستی و تفاهم پایداری که از زبان ملت عظیم و شن ایران به اخصان اوقات دنیا بود این پیام صلح دوستی ایران مخابره بشه معرفی بشه و به نوعی پروسه های بناحق ایران حراسی که ایجاد شده در اخصان اوقات دنیا تحت تاثیر قرار بگیره که به هر حال این هم با حضور بیش از سی کشور از اخصان اوقات دنیا محقق شده Similarities and differences of intangible and tangible cultural elements are only mediums to better understand other human beings and eventually make peace all around the world. Shahriar Azimi for Iran.